class, I wanted to go over some things in Chapter 3 that will help you as you read along. One of the graphs that you're going to see quite a bit throughout Chapter 3 and then later as we go through the class are graphs that we call climographs. And these are graphs that illustrate the climate of a particular location. And in Chapter 3 in my meteorology lab, if you go under Visualize and Chapter Contents, there is a link to an exercise for weather and climate, climate controls, climate graphs world. And if you click on that, you'll end up with um, this on your screen, like I have here. And what you're able to do if you roll your mouse over one of the dots is you can get what we call a climograph for that location. So you'll see I picked Denver first since that's closest to Colorado Mesa University and actually some of our students in this class are located on the front range of Colorado. So we get Denver, Colorado. Here's the latitude and longitude, so 39 degrees north, 105 degrees west. Elevation 1600 meters, which we know is about a mile high. And in yellow or orange, we have the temperature in degrees Celsius, which uses this left-hand scale on the y-axis. And then down here we have some green bars, which is giving the monthly precipitation, which uses the right scale and that centimeters of precipitation. So in this chapter, we're just going to focus on temperature. And so you'll see what we have is the monthly average temperature <coughs> for that location. And we can see what we're looking at really here is just the pattern. So January, February, March, April, May, June, on through December on the x-axis down here. And so what this tells us is in Denver, winter temperatures are down, and average monthly winter temperatures are down around zero degrees Celsius, which is about 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And then average monthly summer temperatures go all the way up to over 20 degrees Celsius. So what we see is a pretty wide temperature range. Now let's look at um, down here in the tropics, San Juan, Puerto Rico. So we move down in latitude, temperature goes up, and what happens to variability of temperature? It changes dramatically. We don't have nearly as much variability. Our monthly averages are all between 25 and 28 degrees Celsius. So why is that? And that is one of the big questions of this chapter. And as you go through the chapter, I want you to think about those temperature controls and the important ones. Of course, the main one that we've looked at since uh, chapter two, as we talked about heat energy, is latitude. As we as we go up in latitude, so if I just move up, um, I'm going to see the temperatures going down, right? So if I move further north in latitude in the northern hemisphere, or further south in latitude in the southern hemisphere, I'm going to see temperatures go down. Um, so latitude is a really important controller on temperature. But there's some other factors that are important um, that control temperature. And that includes the proximity of the location to a large body of water. So differential heating of land and water is another important factor. Ocean currents. Oceans move, our ocean currents move a lot of heat energy. Also altitude, so we'll see a change in temperature with altitude as temperature decreases as we go up in altitude. Geographic position, meaning where are we located um, on a continent, on a coast, um, close to a mountain range, all of those things, and then cloud cover and albedo. Um, so those are controls I want you to think about as you read through the chapter and look at the climographs. And I'll go through the rest of the exercise in another short 